back, baby. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. The Let's Build series has returned. But it has returned in a new location. Where are we? What is this? What is this snow? What is this boat? What is all this? Well, there's an explanation. And uh, it's not good news. Captain Wells Glazes. We all know old Wells Glazes from Let's Build Episodes of Four. He's down here in his captain's abode. Hi. How are you? He doesn't speak. He speaks to me uh, in a silent telepathic language. I'll have to translate to you guys what he's saying. Someone had hired him to sail a ship across the ocean to a new land where they were they were renovated they were they were settling down in a new land and they needed logs so wells you see, right you had a bundle of logs and you were bringing them over and then okay right this sounds very similar to Titanic story. So he's he's going through I fly and show you. He's flying through this ocean and all of a sudden iceberg right ahead. The one of the largest icebergs ever. And as we all know, icebergs are much larger below water than they are above water and there was no getting around it. Poor, poor Wells Glazes. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Cap'n. But guess who's here to save the day? Me. Whoops. Me. B double O. Hi, I'm here. I'll save the day. You just continue. Yeah, look at him. He's just. He's out of his head. He doesn't. He's just looking at the wall. Not even sure. Yeah, I understand. He's kind of whimpering a little bit now. We're going to leave him. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That's his twin brother, Bells Hazes. Is that what you said his name was? Bells Hazes? He's dead. His head's on the ground. Dude. No wonder. Let's get that out of here. Don't look at that. It's been, to, he's in a better place now. So, let's have a quick real talk chat here uh, before we really get into the good stuff. So, there's been a little bit of a delay and a, a hold up in the Let's Build series, and that's been because uh, the format that I was kind of going with before wasn't working for me. I know you guys loved it, but uh, I needed to make some changes. Let's set the time. Set time. Oh, set tome. Ah, how about this? Time, day. Single player commands for the win. Um, it wasn't working, but that old world, not gone, not lost. Um, this is very difficult. I look at this, you have to be kind of an artist here and I'm not the best artist in the world. And you see like Bob Ross, and he'll take a very mini size canvas. A canvas, you know, let's compare like a Bob Ross painting to like a 20 by 20 canvas. And he do that. You do that area, that's easy to do. But then you take an entire building and say, paint a beautiful mural on it. Well, that's a lot more difficult. You're gonna run into roadblocks and stops. But, continuing the story, we've got a new, a new little project to start here. And it includes our old boy Wells. Hopefully, we can get him saved and back to his old land soon enough. Let me talk to you a little bit about what, what our plans are now. So, this is the first boat that I've ever built. I've, I've always looked at boats and thought... 
they're too difficult. There's too many parts and too many pieces. And I think I'll probably do a boat tutorial video uh, rebuilding this boat, but not in ruins, actually building it to where you could set it in the water somewhere and it would look pretty nice. Um, I think this boat turned out really, really well. They're so much easier than I thought. It's a lot of repetitive pattern. More than anything, it's just getting a good form and shape. And uh, I've never done like a ruins thing before, but getting this thing looking like it crashed turned out pretty darn good, I think. So, uh, yeah, I think it's good. You may be aware this is not natural Minecraft terrain. No, it is not. This is an iceberg that I've created in World Painter. Um, created some custom brushes and kind of put this together. Now, this is a little large for an iceberg, I would say, but I made it on a larger scale, so we have plenty of room to do some building here. And I think this will be good. Another little effect that I did here is that I this right here, which you think is water level, is actually cloud level. Uh, it's, it's a few blocks below cloud level, and if we can come over here, you can see some clouds, which actually makes it look like there's fog coming through. Now those clouds are pretty glitchy looking, but but it, you get the you get the point and it gets the idea across. Uh, as you're up here, you see these clouds coming, and it looks like fog. Another thing that I'm doing is f to help with kind of the scale is I'm using Optifine and I've got my render distance set to normal plus 32. Uh, with a far render distance, everything looks. Let me give you a quick example. This is not how every video is going to be, by the way. Um, this is just to get us kicked off and started. Here's far render distance now. And you'll see quickly. Boy, you load slow. Hold on. Okay, there, I got it. You see now, everything looks, there's no fog, or there's no, yeah, render fog up at the top there. There's just a little bit of render fog over there. So everything looks a little smaller. So with this, uh, with this plus 32 normal, it does the trick for us. I like it a lot. I think it's going to be perfect for what we're doing here. And once again, there we go. All right, all loaded up. Uh, using a different te texture pack, not using the John Smith texture pack, I've made some edits, of course, to get Wells glazes uh, looking proper. I had to make some edits to his skin there. Uh, but we are using the Aether's Ascended resource pack. I've made some edits to this as well. Um, I changed the moss stone and the mossy stone bricks to fit our theme. Whoops. Nope, not that. Make them look, instead of moss, it's ice and snow. And that's only going to be for this project, of course, but I think that'll work out pretty nice. At the end of this, I will do a world download for you guys. I do plan on getting this done, okay? I think we're going to do some good things, but as you'll see, this episode format is going to change. We're going to be more time-lapse heavy, and I'll talk you guys through what I'm doing during the time-lapses. But it will help with the entire project, and more will get done. It'll be a lot less of, here's just one building and then end of the episode and a lot more of here is a massive amount of progress throughout each episode so um, what I think we're going to start off with is we've got Wells trapped he's stranded on here so what's the first thing he's going to do but of course build a humongous tower with flame on top to signal to any ship, any passerby, there is life here. Save us. Alrighty, so I'm gonna kinda talk to you a little bit here, talk you through my build process. So, 
I found a little area that kind of jutted out of the iceberg, a little peninsula, and I thought that would be a good place. Uh, as you can see, the circle is pretty big. It's a large circle, and that's because the tower is going to be pretty large, pretty tall. So the base had to be big in itself. Uh, here, I was just kind of trying to work out. I thought that might be a good height. But then thinking about scale later, I thought it might, might need to be taller, so I started raising it up again, just a little bit more. And actually raised it up a little too high for my liking. As you can see here, coming up in a moment, I'm going to step back. I'm going to build a little bit of a tower uh, for the next level, right here. And I notice that the scale, it's too big at the base. So here's where I use world edit just to cut it down a couple levels and boink, it's gone. Now, start adding some detail around the outside. Later, I'll be adding some more detail to the, to the tower. And it kind of throws things off a little bit. But we'll see, we'll see. The detail, they might work well together, but I think they might be clashing. Uh, here, I kind of forgot, oh yeah, I have that ice brick texture. So I started using that at the bases a little bit, just near the bottom. I'm also, something I didn't do this episode, but I'm going to take some ice blocks and build those up around it to make it look like ice is kind of coming in around it uh, like it's been there for a little while even though it's a brand new build it just looks better so here I'm just making a little walkway around the outside so you can walk around that that bottom level and I was kind of messing with how big should it be and I think I use world edit here yeah there we go to make a, a little circle to see what's the proper size and how does the circle lay out and that helped me get my walkway on the bottom figured out so we build this up a little bit and I think we got a good height there it worked out pretty good and I'd be lying to you if I didn't say this tower was a little bit inspired by Lord of the Rings just a little bit if you Google image search towers, uh, you're gonna get a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, but they look so cool. Here's another world edit. Just to get the proper circle dimensions, work that out, get another walkway around this ring for this level. And then, oh, I'm, I'm adding in some snow cobble down there too. It's hard to tell. And then here we're building up the third and final, and this is the, the main part that's going to extend up and hold the, the area where we put our fire. And here's a little bit of a new mistake. It's been a while, <laughs> but I, I forgot to hit F1. <laughs> uh, but here's where things, I'm gonna have to sleep on it and think. But I came up with this cool design to add some depth and texture to this to this uh, to this layer of the tower, and I'm not sure. Just ignore that hand on the screen. I'm not sure if it contrasts with that with that lower level. Um, it's hard to say. I think it looks good, but I'm just gonna have to sleep on it, think on it. And, and we'll see. Now here we're getting started on the very top torch part and this is something that I may change down the road again. Uh, I feel like it just all of a sudden you have this long uh, 
extension from the tower and then all of a sudden you've just got the torch on top. It feels a little flat to me, but again, we'll see. We'll see how it feels. I might make some changes. There may be some changes that, uh, that don't happen on camera that I'll just work out before next episode. Yeah. But here, trying to add some color and some lapis. These are lapis blocks here. I think they look really good. Adding some blue, I think that lapis block and the blue is going to be good for our theme in this area. I think it's going to work out pretty well. Uh, it goes well with the snow and the ice, so I think it'll be good for us. And here we're lighting the flame, letting people know, hello, we're here, come and get us. I mean, don't mind this amazing huge building that we built, I just wanted to let you know we're here. I uh, threw some fence posts on there to give it some more sharpness. Now here, uh, starting to work on some more detail. And in this episode, I didn't get as much detail into the tower as I wanted to. But now, I want this to be functional. I want to be able to walk around. And so, adding a little uh, kind of wrapping around spiral staircase here is going to help with that. Uh, I, I had some trouble with this, but I think this turned out okay for what we've got. Um, at first I started to do it as stairs, but it didn't have as much, it didn't wind as much as I wanted it to, so turning it into half slabs worked out really well. What I'm doing now is something that I change up later on. I just extended these, they're almost like buttresses now, um, extended these up, thought that might look kind of cool. But after looking at it from a distance, I thought, nah. Now this stairway, I'm having it lead into a little uh, side tower, like a spire. Here's where I changed things up. And this doesn't stay either. But I tried going with like a lapis roof here uh, to get, to just put a covering over it to see and uh, later it was just too much. Lapis blocks are really tough to build with as a main structure piece. They're good for highlights and details, but without having stairs and half slabs, it's really difficult to, to be able to make a shape look really good. You really have to use your imagination. Oh, buddy boy, oh, Wells. It's gonna be all right. You're gonna be okay. I promise. We're gonna get you out of here. Not, uh, not the nicest place you got here, but it, if it works for you, that's fine with me. Poor Wells. I'm gonna leave you for a minute. I'm gonna show him. So, uh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we got. Uh, let's turn toggle downfall. Go away, snow. So here's what we got. Um, and there's going to be some more work done to this. Going to do some more work to it. Got, got a lot more to do, actually. Um, have just put so much time into it as far as time lapses go I think we've got a good full episode here uh, but it's a good start uh, as you can see I did some changes here and I'm still gonna do more changes I, I last time did this with lapis but uh, changed it to dark wood I wanna add more color to this but uh, after looking at it I'm not sure I'm at kind of a point where I need to sit back and kind of reflect and just think about it, maybe step away and think about it for a little bit uh, and see how we feel. But I think overall, it's a good start. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, so what we'll do for each build that we do, we'll not only do the little time lapse, big overviews, but we'll do a, a little walkthrough. Oops, got to fix this. Point, uh, point, point and come on down well we'll do that for there right now build up the snow oh you're not real snow oh good gravy there we go 
All right, so little walkthrough here. This is very, very tight quarters in here, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be tight. Um, want it to feel cold still, very cold, wide open. Um, might do some other things to kind of dress this up. I'm not sure. We'll work that out, though. Um, but you get you get a little view of the outside here. And then we'll walk up. Um, still need to work all this out, but this will be kind of a tower here. A little mini tower. Um, and I'm thinking I want to have a walkway up to here. And ha have this lookout area. This can be one of those areas where you get kind of a, a good view. And I think I want to have these on, one of these on the other side where you can look out and, and just chill and wait for boats to come by. Where are they? Where are they? Do you know what I mean? Um, and then we've got this next level here. Well, let's do a quick walk around down on the bottom. So this is kind of how the bottom level feels gonna do some more things here uh, to kind of dress this up as well I'm not sure I think there's a little bit of a disconnect with this style and this style I'm kind of feeling that right now when we come back next episode things might be changed quite a bit but I feel a little bit of a disconnect there we'll see um, then you've got this upper level here which will have I started working on potentially another tower here that ties into this, but I'm almost feeling like I want to offset it in a different direction. Um, either way, wherever it is, you can climb up it and then maybe have an entrance into the main tower that you can walk all the way up. Up here, this is what we've got for now. And kind of taking this shape here, kind of taking this from the boat a little bit and I think I do, I do want to continue doing that throughout this build I want to continue um, using that shape on the boat back here we've got kind of these wings here do, 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 and I kinda of want to stick with that a little bit um, but anyway that's gonna do it for today um, again, want to thank you guys. This is I'm bringing this back and putting everything I got into it as uh, as a thank you for helping me get to 500,000 subscribers. Very much appreciated, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like on it for me, and uh, let me know you're happy that Wells Glazes in the Let's Build is back. And we'll see you all. Ouch, fire next episode. Why'd your head turn, man? Get your head right. There it is. Hi.